Welcome back to it, left and right. I'm Phantom Corgi Butts. And I'm Lark Nightingale. And welcome back to Dream Daddy. We are pursuing Robert, but we have skipped a up lot. to the point where we have met him because yes. it's all pretty much the same mm -hmm. in the beginning. So we're just saving ourselves some time. Yes. So if you want to know how the beginning goes, watch the other episodes on Matra. Yeah. Matra. Which now that I'm thinking about, you should edit it to say Matra in the title. Yes, I should. After like. Yeah, like but just whatever. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to pursue Roberto. And we're switching up some voices, so I'll be yes. playing Amanda, and Phantom will be playing Augustus, and yes. I think I'm also playing Brian. Yes. Alright, so, yeah. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of the pool ball sound in the back is the patron's laugh and jump. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover over the bartender. I can't tell if it's Jim or Kim. Thanks for that. What'll it be? Sorry. <laughs> One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice cold beer and I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm, I'm Neil. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal with cartwheels, I slightly cheer for my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into a confrontation arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Look how generic this conversation is. Several people in this bar were wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their their demeanor that, like me, the passion for the team is all in good fun. Hey! A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably with Hey, Sailor. Uh, hello. Huh? Good, good to see some fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Uh, no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Augustus, by the way. Mm -hmm. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. I think they keep this up. They'll win the game with ease. Hey. Oh, I love that team. <clears throat> I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Should we get her another drink? Uh, hmm. Who would be nice to her? Buy a gala drink. But that's just gonna be awkward. Um, Flip a coin. Tips her glass at me. <clears throat> Suppose I gotta make you company now. Or oh. Company. So what do you want to know? Uh. Let's play this <laughs> You can come. <clears throat> you came to the right bro. Ah. I didn't know that's a. a <laughs> I'm not <laughs> that drunk. Oh, <laughs> I watch people. Oh. I see everything. Know everyone. Nothing gets past me. So. Ugh. So what? I thought you were gonna... Hmm. I forgot what we were talking about. About the gossip? You said some, nothing gets past you? Oh, right. I'm gonna steal Trap Confidential Tour. So, what else can you tell me about this hmm. part of town? It's quiet? That's for sure. If you want an in, 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 little life with white <laughs> I, I, I had canon. This is probably how she talks. <laughs> this is the place to do it. But... <clears throat> Every town has secrets, you know. She takes a sip of her drink. That was a little too om ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Hey. Would you like to leave some of my secrets? Oh boy. Uh, maybe some other time? Ugh. Suit yourself, sailor. 
Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points and a little too close <clears throat> than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from other men at the bar. Good team. No, hold on, the, wait. I gotta... It's the brooding man from the coffee shop. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am not the one Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. But, in my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that based upon our win-lose record. I say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since it stands right now, my team is beating yours. I broke it. Ah! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> the conversation ends and there... The no, conversation ends there. And we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass to the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truth is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks. I'm Augustus. Oh. You must be new here. They're here to hit on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert chuckles. Uh, just peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. <laughs> is there actually a Jim, a Jim or Kim that runs this place? Hey. No. That'd be Neil. I don't know why that's so <laughs> funny to me. Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Uh, okay. <sighs> you whiskey fella or beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. Oh. You like shots? Okay, I remember. I yeah. love shots. Thank God. Robert nods to Neil. Robert nods to Neil, um, who serves up two shots I'm, of whiskey. Sorry. He hands one to me. Do you want me to narrate? Do the narration no, too? Fine. Okay. Here's to your health. We take shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look oh. through. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Gus, this is out of my friend league. But I, I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Oh, jeez. Um, we, I remember we complimented his rugged good looks. He had a positive response from it. Your face is good. Uh, thanks. Wait, I think this is what flirting is. Man, this guy is mysterious. And cool. I... Wait, cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. Here tonight. Uh, running from my problem? The usual. I like your style. He gets up. Oh. Sorry. Right back. Got a part of my nose. <laughs> Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Huh. Sorry. I guess so. Got to admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. <clears throat> if a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then it really must be. Robert comes back from the gra <laughs> the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. I'm reading too far ahead. Uh, I'm gonna go home. Get in my way. Robert and oh. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. We're used to it. Oh. Uh, I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? Apparently. Me too. We just finished unpacking I... today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's. We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. Now we stop, and he turns to me. Hold on. Um. So I don't know if we can skip this, like the one night stand, but still pursue him. Well, we're gonna find out. Um. Wait, are we gonna do the do with him? Yes. Or... Okay, alright. <laughs> I don't kiss and tell, Augustus. Huh. So, are we gonna do this, or what? What? Hey. You know, do you wanna come inside or not? <laughs> okay, I just wanna say the first time we played this, Lark didn't know what was about to happen, because no. she doesn't understand social norms. I don't. So she thought you were gonna go in and see, like, his fucking, like, drain collection or something. <laughs> 
a, wa- a wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. You know, when I read that, I was just all like, eh. Um. Lay it on smooth. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't see why not. Hmm. That sounded smoother in my head. Let's do it. <laughs> I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with, with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom, but it is so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. He kisses me again, and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. I clumsily take off mine, too. His hands roam down my chest, and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. I, I, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? No. No. Good. <laughs> Robert continues to <laughs> buckle my belt and guides me to his bed. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Sunlight streams between the, the slats of blinds. My head is pounding. I really, I really overdid it last night. Wait a minute. This isn't my old house. Or my new house. Oh, right. I look around for Robert, but find myself alone. Hello? There's a chatter from the bathroom. The door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. That was fun. Oh, God. Yeah, it was. Oh. Yeah, but you should go. That's certainly not what I was expecting. Well, uh, talk to you later. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sure. Oh, I didn't read that. I'm it sorry. Over there. Hey. I hastily get dressed and chum myself out. The sun is unbearably bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back to my house and suddenly remember, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Bad dad. Oh, yeah. I rush back and ho- home and throw the door open. Something smells delicious. Amanda. Uh. Amanda <laughs> runs out of the kitchen and looks slightly disappointed. <laughs> Oh, man, I was kind of hoping you had gotten kidnapped and I was going to have to come and rescue you. No, I uh, made a friend at the bar last night and ended up sleeping over at his place. Where the, where are the Emmas? Uh, they left a while ago. Oh, you guys have fun? Uh. Yeah, watched some movies, ate snacks, stole a car, you know, usual sleepover stuff. You teens and your, your larceny. I was going to get there. <laughs> so, this breakfast that's cooking, what's that mm. all about? Well, there's hash, brown, hash browns. Hash browns. Hash browns. <laughs> and eggs. And bacon. Can I? Aww. Yes, you can have some breakfast. Bless you, sweet child. My head throbs. Oh, I gotta do something about this hangover. Amanda, your loving father might have, have overdone it last night. <laughs> oh, somebody's hangover? Father of the year. You wouldn't happen to have any aspirin or question mark. All right. You've got just the thing. Hang on. Amanda runs to the fridge and pulls out a jar of pickles. Oh, God. Amanda, what? All right. Drink this. The pickle juice? Ah. Yep. It's what I used once. I would assume someone would use. I would also assume that it works pretty well. Huh? Although I've never tried it before. And w- won't try it, obviously. Amanda Ann! Who gave you alcohol? Uh, excuse me, was this one of the various Emmas in your life? Ugh. Had chill. Amanda, I have never had an ounce of chill in my life. You should know that by now. You better not be drinking alcohol in this household. Ugh, just drink the juice. This better work. I down the sip of the tart I down a sip of the tart hey. juice. No no no, more than that. Way more than that. Ah. I mean, I assume. Uh. Watch it, you. <laughs> I drink more pickle juice and help myself to the delicious breakfast that Amanda has graciously allowed me to partake in. After inhaling some hash browns and dunking several pieces of bacon into runny egg yolk, I'm starting to feel a little better. Amanda grabs her backpack and keys. Oh, I gotta get to class. Don't forget the meeting with Mr. Vega, okay? Said it was important. Love ya! I'll be there. Knock him dead, kiddo. <laughs> Always do. We do our secret handshake and she's off. I, li- I get a little work done at home <laughs> before I glance at my watch and see that it's almost time for my meeting. I hop in the shower, change my clothes, and head head on my way. Still a little hungover. Make sure to sweep under your tent. I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They gave me a bright orange visitor sticker and set me on my way. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully nobody will notice. I check my watch and am relieved to see that I'll, I'm only two minutes late. Wait, was it 103 or 108? I spot a youth 
standing at his locker. Who is this you? Him. That's a great question. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know? Wait, what, if you, then we'll solve that in the next episode. Oh, yes, we will. Aha! Uh -huh. Um, we might actually skip over it, so you might never know who this youth is. But like we said, if you want to know who this mysterious youth is, go to our uh, other playthrough if you haven't seen it yet. Um, so thank you all for watching. We're going to continue on with Robert. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, and see you in the next episode. Bye.